Okay, so the first uh, test we've got on the uh, Spectre Nylon Climbing Sling is the uh, baseline, the um, well-kept um, webbing. Uh, six bar tacks, five inch overlap um, across larger pins this time. They're about uh, 15 millimeter pins just to uh, to try and get a uh, as big a uh, strength we can on the uh, sling rather than going to the 10 miller smaller pins. So uh, I'm going to do a faster pull this time just so that uh, we try to factor out heat and other creep and other such variables. And I'll try to do the same speed on each uh, sling. So this is the um, baseline sling, the good webbing. Uh, we're loaded up to 250 pounds right now and we're going to go for a straight fast pull and a uh, well, moderate fast pull and see what we get. Okay, as usual with uh, Spectra, we see the, um, the nylon breaking clean uh, with some crusty heat, uh, heat leftovers. Um, there's some heat in the sling, it's gone now, but uh, you can always see the Spectra strands pull. Um, so when you pull, when you pull a uh, Spectra nylon blend sling, you get uh, the nylon kind of breaking more cleanly than the spectra. The spectra pulls out and strands out like that. Um, it's uh, very different than a straight nylon pull. And the nylon, the heat has uh, kind of crumbled up the uh, nylon. Looks like it broke over a pin, not quite sure. Um, yeah, and you can see here where these spectra strands have pulled free of the um, of the um, warp of the uh, weave of the uh, webbing, so um, no stitching break, no break out the stitch. It looks like it broke over the pin. So uh, this is the uh, good sling. So we'll have a look at uh, what the peak gross on that was. So the peak gross on that was 5,200 pounds. Get a close up of that. 5,000. 200 pounds, and that's my baseline sling.